That's foul. And a miss. And the thing is now, Dennis, he'll be warned if Mark Selby has him replaced that if he doesn't hit it this time, in fact, Mark was telling him. <laughs> <laughs> the jester from Leicester. <laughs> Just a succession now. John Higgins needed a snooker, he's just got one. <laughs> he just tapped the table. <laughs> so, what a good shot I played there. He congratulated themselves there. Mark Selby can afford a smile. One. After that mistake by Mark Williams. Yes, that was a good chance because had the black gone in. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a little bit cheeky. Mark Selby mimicking the rather unusual shot that Mark Williams occasionally plays. That's why they call him the jester from Leicester. It looks to me as if he's trying to play the red that's out in the open. Now oh, this could go wrong. Oh, he's potted it. Unbelievable. One. Well, Mark Allen smiles. And <laughs> Mark Selby's looking at the soles of his shoes. Well, it mustn't be because Michaela hasn't nominated it. <laughs> he turned around to Michaela and said, touching ball. <laughs> The old jester from Leicester gets a lovely smile from our referee. <laughs> well, he's, he didn't make that. And, uh, and he had about Mark Selby falls, I don't know, centimetre or something to travel, but he didn't hit it hard enough. Well, it's in the same position, but it, the miss was staying yeah. there. We've back his mark, but we moved hardly anything, really. Just had to make sure he, he didn't pot the black by mistake. <laughs> Very nearly went in off. It's not hit the all round the table, Mark. Of course, if it was to drop in now, it would be replaced by the referee. There isn't an actual time on it, is there? <laughs> Look, he's stomping now. Well, as I say, a problem. I always love the, the line from the late, great Ted Long. There is a time limit on how long you have to play a shot, but nobody knows what it is. <laughs> Mark's just looked up to the commentary box as if to say, well, have you got an idea? <laughs> I can't even draw a line for you, Mark, I'm sorry. 